What if I told you that I knew which team would win the NBA championship this season? That I somehow could see and predict the future like some sort of basketball prophet? Well, then I'd be a filthy liar because I don't know who's gonna win the NBA title this season. But what if we could use numbers and data collected over decades of NBA games to make an accurate prediction as to which team will be crowned the 2022 NBA champions? Be pretty cool, right? Well, let's give it a shot. Today's video is brought to you by DraftKings. The NBA playoffs are just around the corner, but some teams are just trying to win in the play-in tournament. Um, what did you just say? But thanks to DraftKings, you don't have to be on the court to win big in this year's play-in. Because right now, new customers can bet just $5 on any team to win and get $150 in free bets instantly. Yes, you heard me correctly. Bet just $5 on any team in the play-in tournament and instantly win $150 in free bets. DraftKings Sportsbook customers can also get a daily can't-miss happy hour super boost. Just check in every day between the hours of 4 and 7 p.m. for a new insane odds boost. And if the sportsbook isn't available in your state, you can still feel the thrill of the playoffs with DraftKings Daily Fantasy Contest. Millions of dollars in total prizes up for grabs every single day of the week all season long that's code jimmy high roller at DraftKings sportsbook an official sports betting partner of the nba if numbers could tell us everything then the best data analysts in the world would be laughing to the bank right now unfortunately numbers aren't this reliable life similar to sports has far too much nuance and minute variables to pack everything into quantifiable formulas and algorithms but will that stop us sports nerds from trying Absolutely not. And with the playoffs getting started, I thought to myself, is it possible to make a truly accurate prediction on who will win the NBA title based purely on numbers? I mean, as fans, we can all make our predictions, but could there be a method to narrowing down a future NBA championship team based solely off the data? Well, over the years, NBA fans have attempted to do just this. Data scientist and NBA enthusiast Tristan Smith used machine learning to try and predict which team would win the 2020 NBA championship. To come to the most accurate conclusion, Tristan used multiple data sets spanning as far back as the 1980 NBA season. The main statistics used in these data sets were margin of victory, effective field goal percentage, turnover percentage, win-loss percentage, and a few other team stats. One of the more interesting discoveries found throughout Tristan's experiment was the strong correlation between regular season wins and playoff wins. Tristan found that if a team has less than 45 regular season wins, a single playoff win was unlikely. To win at least five playoff games, a team almost always needed 50 regular season wins or more, and to achieve more than 13 playoff wins, a team needed at least 55 regular season wins. But of all the statistics used in this experiment, the most indicative stats for playoff success was found to be margin of victory. And so with decades of advanced data pushed through the lens of machine learning and far too many numbers for me to wrap my head around, Tristan's final prediction for the 2020 NBA champs was wrong. His calculations predicted that the Milwaukee Bucks would win the finals, followed by the actual champions and the Lakers. Another NBA enthusiast and data expert by the name of Tristan Yoon conducted a similar experiment for the 2020 season as well. The man even went as far as collecting data on fan attendance to help come to the most accurate conclusion. And that conclusion was also wrong. Tristan's model also predicted that the Bucks would be the 2020 NBA champions followed by the Lakers once again. So if there's anything I've learned from digging through a handful of highly advanced predictive models for future NBA championship teams, it's that they're all wrong. And outside of a lucky guess, the odds of someone actually predicting which team will win the championship at the end of the season is unlikely at best. But did that stop me from pouring days worth of my time into trying to accurately predict which team will win the championship at the end of the season? No. So now that we've taken a look at predictions from past seasons, let's see what the data suggests for the 2022 NBA playoffs. 538, one of the more insightful data analytics websites I've come across, predicts that the Celtics have the best chances of winning this year's NBA Finals, followed by the Suns, the Bucks, the Warriors, the Heat, and the 76ers. Some surprising things to note here is that despite their success in the regular season, the Grizzlies came out with just the seventh best odds of winning the championship 
championship this season. And according to 538s, the Nets only have a 2% chance of finishing the season as champions. 538's model also has a current rating and a full strength rating. The full strength rating takes into consideration the maximum potential of each team based off of what we've seen from them this season with injuries, rotations, and many other variables. According to their full strength rating, the Nuggets jump from 15th to 5th, and the Nets jump from 10th to 4th. But no matter how you flip it, the Celtics remain on top with the best odds. And all this talk about accurate or not so accurate predictive models got me thinking about quite possibly the most accurate predictors in all of sports. Vegas. The way odds makers are capable of calculating the smallest margins in sports betting has led me to believe, without a shadow of a doubt, that they have the best mathematicians in the world working for them. Screw it, they have the best theoretical physicists working for them. Oh, the over-under on the Lakers-Nuggets game is set at 285 points? Give me the under all day long, that's free money. Oh, hell no! They do that! According to historical preseason odds, over the last 10 seasons, the preseason favorite ended up winning the championship six times. And three of the last 10 seasons, the preseason favorite ended up losing in the finals. So if history tells us anything, it's that there's an extremely good chance that whichever team was picked as the preseason favorite will either win the finals or at least make it to the finals. The preseason favorite going into this season was the Brooklyn Nets. The team with the second best odds, we won't talk about them. So now that we've gone into great detail just how hard it is to predict a future NBA championship winning team, let's try to predict a future NBA championship winning team. I'm going to be using a method similar to the ones we've touched on in this video, but with a little bit more nuance to them. So first, let's take a look at a few different advanced metrics. SRS score, or simple rating system score, margin of victory, and regular season record. The SRS score is a rating given to each NBA team based on factors like point differential, net rating, and strength of schedule. Now of the last 25 championship teams, 24 of them had an SRS score that ranked among the top six in the NBA. The only championship team that wasn't ranked in the top six were the Dallas Mavericks in 2011. So aside from that one anomaly, being a top six SRS team is virtually a requirement. The top six teams in terms of SRS score this season are the Celtics, Suns, Jazz, Warriors, Grizzlies, and Heat. Now let's take a look at regular season record. Over the past 25 seasons, among all championship teams, what do you think is the fewest amount of regular season games won? The answer to that question came back in 2006, when the Miami Heat won just 52 games on their way to winning a title. That is the absolute bottom line for regular season games won among championship winning teams over the last 25 NBA seasons. The team with the best record in the league has won 10 of the last 25 NBA championships, and teams with a top three record won 20 of the last 25 championships. The bare minimum in terms of regular season record is right around sixth best in the NBA. So if we take a look at the top six teams in terms of regular season record, we'll find the Suns, Grizzlies, Heat, Warriors, Mavericks, Celtics, Bucks, and 76ers. And the last advanced metric we'll be using is margin of victory, which across the board was found to have a strong correlation to playoff success. Since 1997, only two teams finished outside of the top six in MOV and still won a championship. So once again, the data shows that the vast majority of championship teams were among the top six teams league-wide in this statistic. And this season, those top six teams were the Suns, Celtics, Jazz, Grizzlies, Warriors, and Heat. Now, if we take a look at our three metrics and the qualifying teams for each one, we'll see that the same handful of teams remain amongst the best teams in the entire league. But if we identify the teams that show up in all three categories, our field of potential champions is narrowed down to just five teams. The Celtics, the Suns, the Warriors, the Grizzlies, and the Heat. To my surprise, there's no Bucks and no Nets. But if history tells us anything, it's that these five teams are our only true contenders in the 2022 NBA playoffs. Okay, but the average NBA fan could have probably predicted these five teams would be in contention for the NBA title this season. Which exact team will walk away with the championship? 
Well, as we all know, in order to win a championship, a team needs to perform well against the very best teams in the league. A team that is capable of rising up and playing their best basketball against the best competition is almost always the team that walks away with the championship in hand. So instead of looking at how these five teams performed against the entire league, let's see how they performed against the top eight teams across the league. In games against the top eight teams in the entire league, the Miami Heat finished the season with a point differential of negative eight. Altogether, the Heat were outperformed by the league's best teams, but they did do a better job than the Grizzlies, who had a point differential of negative 35 against the best teams in the league, a number that reflects the fact that they still have work to do if they truly want to contend for a title. The Warriors just about broke even with a point differential of plus one and were outperformed by the top team in the West, the Phoenix Suns, who finished with an impressive plus 53 point differential against the league's best teams. But there's one team that is virtually in a league of their own. The Boston Celtics finished the season with a point differential of plus 132 against the top teams in the NBA which means they weren't just beating really good teams, they were destroying really good teams. And that's why according to the numbers, the Boston Celtics will be the 2022 NBA champions. They check all the boxes for a potential championship team. They have the regular season resume to back it up and all the numbers suggest they will be crowned as champions at the end of the season. Of course, the numbers can only tell us so much. It's impossible to quantify a lot of things that happen on a basketball court. Like the fact that the Celtics will have to overcome the mental obstacle of their 4-1 first round exit to the Nets last season. The team they have to face in the first round this season is, once again, the Nets. The numbers also don't consider the fact that Kyrie Irving missed a large majority of games this season, skewing the Nets' overall regular season numbers to not accurately reflect what they'll look like in the playoffs. I personally think that the Bucks have a good shot at repeating this season, but their championship pedigree is something that just doesn't show up in the numbers. It's almost impossible to put a value on the impact of things like injuries, postseason experience, series adjustments, and about a million other variables. And I may just be dead wrong in this entire assessment, but we'll just have to wait and see. And until then, hope you all enjoyed, and as always, until next time.